all the brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters in Islam, I welcome you and I remind you that today is the greatest day of the entire year. The day of Al-Hajj, Yawm Al-Hajj Al-Akbar, the day of Eid, the day of sacrifice. But let me ask you a question. Let us think about for a second, why are we celebrating this Tuesday morning? When for some of us or most of us or many of us, the weather conditions are not the best in terms of what we desire from our comfort. When it's not a weekend, it's not a long weekend. So why are we celebrating this Tuesday? And the reason is that the of the heavens and the earth and whatever is between it has chosen the tenth of Dhul Hijjah to be a day of celebration, the day of sacrifice, a day of takbir, a day of dhikr for the Muslimin. So there is no other reason for us to celebrate today and to manifest and to express our happiness and to manifest in different ways except because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen this day. And that is the reason that this celebration which we are doing as an act of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not because it's my birthday, not because it's someone's birthday or anniversary and so on and so forth, but just because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen this day, we are celebrating it. That celebration, that act of joyfulness, that act of happiness, our engagement in things that we enjoy and we like from this dunya, is means of worship, is a means of getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, part of these days is celebration and happiness and expressing the joy by exchanging gifts, embracing each other, greeting each other, and so on and so forth. There are other two very important components of this day and these days. One of them is very much neglected. Although it is itself the foundation and the pillars of success and happiness. But very seldom do we reflect on that third pillar, that third component of the Eid, and that is the topic of our khutbah today. But before that, let me remind myself and you of one of the great acts of worship in these days is to sacrifice, to sacrifice the sacrificial animals that Allah and His Messenger وسلم, has explained to us. And to, and, and to draw their blood, and to, uh, and to drain their blood, and to sacrifice for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for boasting or compet competition, but to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I encourage you to sacrifice here, and to sacrifice in countries that are of dire need. So if we can combine both, that's a great thing to do. Now, the third thing that I wanted to talk about today, and we can see that, and before I mention that, I will mention what we see in the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So from the Hadith, we know that the Prophet of Allah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has described these days to be the days of eating and drinking and the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in His book, وَذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْدُودَاتٍ فَمَنْ تَعَجَّلَ فِي يَوْمَيْنِ فَلَا إِثْمَ عَلَيْهِ وَمَنْ تَأَخَّرَ فَلَا إِثْمَ عَلَيْهِ لِمَنِ اتَّقَى And remember Allah in these days. So whoever shorten and do it in two days, there's no sin upon him. And whoever completes the three days, there's no sin upon him. For the ones who have the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.